Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Thank you every single person, who supported me on Patreon. You have been amazing. I am closing my Patreon account, on 31st January. My Patreon was never meant to make money, or earn profit. It was created just to support my work. Now everything is working fine, thanks to you every single person. You can now free download After Effects templates from my official website. Check the link in the description. Anyway, today, we are going to create this. My new product Influx, is available now, check out the first link in the description. So, let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it, Audio Spectrum. As always, I am using the 1920, by 1080 resolution. With a frame rate of 60, just to make the animation smoother. And my duration is 1 minute. You must keep the duration according to your track. Now the first step is to create a new solid layer. We will call it the background. Go to the effects and the presets, and search for the gradient ramp. Apply it onto the layer, and then adjust a few settings. First, change the ramp shape to the radial ramp. And then click on this swap colors button. Now grab this center point and place it away from the center. Let's change the start color of it. I am keeping this green and blue shade color. Cool. Now go to the project window, and then import these files into the project. By the way, you can download them from the link in the description. Let's place this video on top of the background layer. This video looks great, but unfortunately, it is only 25 seconds longer and the audio can be bigger than 10 minutes. Luckily we have a quick fix for this. We can do this by using an expression. Right click on this video layer, and then go to the time. Now click on the enable time remapping. Here you will find these keyframes on time remapping. Now press and hold the alt key on your keyboard, and click on this stopwatch icon. It will allow you to add an expression. In this expression box, type, loop underscore out, parentheses, inside it, type quotation mark, inside it, type cycle, quotation mark closed, comma, zero. Make sure to type the same expression, which I am showing it on the screen. Now click on the end point of this video clip, and drag it to the end of the timeline. This expression will loop out this video clip using these keyframes. Everything between these keyframes will repeat only. Now the clip is one minute longer. Let's remove the center of this video clip, so that we can see our equalizer easily. Go to the tools, and select the ellipse tool. Click on the center, and then start creating a mask. Press and hold the Ctrl plus Shift key on your keyboard, and it will create a perfect circle mask. Make the size around this bigger, and then change the mask to subtract. Also, press F to open feather, and change the feather value to around 250 pixels. Now change its blending mode to lighten. And it will blend with the background perfectly. Cool. Before proceeding to the next step, let's make this project 16-bit. Press and hold the Alt key on your keyboard and then click on this 8 bits per channel one time. It will switch to the 16 bit per channel. The more bit depth you get, the more shades of color you have. Cool, let's add this audio file into the project. Right click on it, and choose pre-compose. I am calling it music comp. We are pre-composing the audio file, so that we can replace the song easily. 
Now open this pre-compose, and then press L double time, to open waveform. If you need, you can set the starting point of the song, by dragging it to left or right. And this is where I want to start my song, switch back to the main timeline, and it's time to create the spectrum. Create a new solid layer, and we will call it Spectrum 01. Let's place it on top of all layers. Now go to the tools, and select the ellipse tool. Make sure the spectrum layer is selected, and then click on the center, start creating a circular mask. Press and hold the Ctrl plus Shift key on your keyboard, to get a perfectly rounded mask. Cool, change the mask to none. And click here to hide the mask path. Again go to the effects and the presets, and search for the audio spectrum. This is an inbuilt plugin of After Effects. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, change the path to Mask 1, and the spectrum will take the shape of the mask. I am going to change the color to the white for now. Now change the display options to the analog line, and then change the thickness value to 2. I am also going to change the softness value to 0. Cool. Now change the audio layer to music comp. And the shape will start reacting to the audio. Let's go to the point, where we are getting higher peak value. So that we can see bump in this shape. Now select this spectrum layer, and make a duplicate of it. Let's change its thickness value to 1. As well as, change the maximum height value to 300. It will create slightly thin, and small line, than our bigger line. Cool. Let's make more duplicate of this spectrum layer. For this layer, I am changing the maximum height value to 200. Now make one more duplicate of this layer, and this time, I am changing the maximum height value to 100. Check the animation, and this is how your spectrum should look now. Let's add more random spectrums to it. Make one more duplicate of it. For this spectrum, I am going to change the display option to analog dots. And changing the maximum height value to 600. Here we have these tiny dots around this spectrum. Let's increase the frequency bands value to 150. After that, change the thickness value to 2. This is how your spectrum should look now. I am going to make one more duplicate of this layer. For this spectrum, I am changing the display options to analog lines. And changing the side options to side B. Also, change the thickness value to 1. And change the frequency bands value to 14. Cool. This looks good to me. Now select all spectrum layers. Right click on it, and choose pre-compose. I am going to call it spectrum. And then hit OK. Make sure to mute this layer, by clicking on this speaker icon. Cool. Let's move to the next step. Again go to the point where you can see the highest peak value of the spectrum, and then make sure your layer is selected. Again go to the effect and the presets, and search for the mirror effect. Apply it onto the layer, and then click on this reflection center. Click on the middle of the layer, to get the center point. These values are not exact, the exact value will be 960 for the first, and 540 for the second position. Or simply divide your comp width and height value by 2. We have just created the mirror effect for this spectrum, you can use the reflection angle if you need, but I am going with the default value. It's time to add some colors to it. Make sure to select your layer. And then again go to the effects and the presets, this time search for the fill effect. Apply it onto the layer and change the color according to your need. I am keeping this green color, to suit with my design. Again go to the effects and the preset, and now search for the glow effect. Apply it onto the layer, 
and let's adjust a few settings. Change the glow threshold value to 10%, and change the glow radius value to 100. Let's make a duplicate of this glow effect. For this second glow, I am going to change the glow threshold value to 5, and glow radius will be 200. Perfect. Now change the blending mode to lighten. Actually, I am changing it to the color dodge, so that it will blend nicely with the background. Let's make another duplicate of this spectrum layer, and we will call it spectrum rays. Again go to the effects and the preset, and this time search for CC radial fast blur. Apply it onto the layer, and change the amount to 100. It's time for the color adjustment. Create a new adjustment layer. And make sure to place it on top of all layers. Go to the effects and the presets, here search for the curves effect. Apply it onto the layer, and do some curve adjustment. I am creating an S curve, to add some contrast to it. Select the red channel, and add a little red touch to it. Select the green channel and add a small S curve to the green channel. Do the same with the blue channel as well. Now our animation is complete, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day. If you want to download pre-made templates, sound effects, and stock footage, make sure to visit the Envato Elements, you can check the link in the description.